all during this celebration of the bicentennial, Mayor Coleman has been repeating one word over and over again, swagger. He says Columbus <laughs> has some swagger, but it needs more swagger. The south side of the city needs a little more than swagger, and the mayor announced plans to build a community center, and he announced that private companies will invest in the long, struggling neighborhood. Ann Fisher, swagger is defined in Merriam-Webster as marked by elegance or showiness. Does Columbus have swagger? Do we need any more of it? Well, the mayor, in one of his descriptions, says it's when you point your chest out, you know, and I'm thinking I'm more of a swinging hip kind of person, <laughs> but um, does, does Columbus have swagger? I, I think that's in the mind of the individual, but... Uh, uh, I think that people in Columbus are very proud of their city, and um, I, I don't know if you can uh, put it in those kind of terms in this way. It's it's city pride. It's yeah. being prideful and, and proud of your city, and, and uh, happy to be here. But I mean, he's a, he's I, he's a huge cheerleader. He has been certainly the past two months. The swagger word was something that was had to have been planned because it was used so often, and I'm not quite sure what they were planning to get out of that. But um, you know, but Columbus still has this. Uh, complex about are we really a big city and I, I my great-grandfather helped run a buggy factory here so I have some ability to speak about this it's a city that worries that it needs its last name to identify itself so people won't think it's Columbus Indiana or Columbus Georgia I mean it is the biggest city in the state but you don't hear Chicago or Boston or even Cleveland talking about things like this they know who they are but I think that that's changing. I mean, all you have to do is read the literature from other cities, including New York City, about Columbus, and they talk about it all the time. A lot of it has to do with the food. You know, yeah, it's they're a foodie surprised town, that they have good food in Columbus. I don't think they're surprised. I think they're calling it a destination now, not to mention the LGBT community. Uh, it's a top destination. What, what is the state of the city? I mean, the unemployment rate is like 6.7% in Franklin County, but we're... Uh, community research partner says we are one of them we have a high poverty rate compared to other cities similar to ours around the country I think the state is hopeful and you can't really say that about any of the other big cities yeah. in Ohio Columbus benefits because it wasn't an industrial city mm -hmm. it had a strong uh, employment base Ohio State and it continues and it's done well it's had good leadership and this the part of the city which is struggling the south side of the city was an industrial base and it's one of the reasons why it's struggling now and that's been you know that's what the mayor uh, is focused most of his uh, speech on in terms of where he's gonna put set his sights next Mark where would you put the state of Columbus right now Columbus is a great town. I, I moved here from Washington, and I really like living in Central Ohio. I don't know that it helps to have the mayor running around saying swagger every five minutes. Uh, maybe it can hurt. I think he should have spent more time with the thesaurus. <laughs> maybe he had a better I word. <laughs> No. By the man of the source, can we? Someone get the man of the source? You know, it sounds good. Swagger. It's got a little. I, I think know. the swagger quotient increased this weekend when the Arnold was Arnold's in town and it made yes. a leave on Sunday. <laughs> um, the South Side, it gets everything dumped on it. Landfills, polluting plants. Is this now the, the chance to, to help that? South Parsons, south of German Village area? I think it is the time, and I think it's about time probably a lot of people are saying, because I don't think there's a lot of swagger down there. There's a lot of struggling and suffering. Uh, but ultimately, what's turned around every communi community in, in central Ohio has been the people who live there. And so they're giving them some tools now to attract things, but ultimately it has to be people moving in there. It has to be comes from the people who live there. And that's been the formula all along. It has to be private investment, not just a community center or, or, right. or senior housing which are they planning to and build? They attacked it from all the different regions. Um, there's a training program for young people, right. there's private development, there's public development, there's going to be a new community center and a health center. And that's a very. And there's private, public private partnership right. involved. But Franklinton wants help, you know, Old Town East wants help. How much can the city do for all of these neighborhoods that are perhaps struggling? I don't think it can do everything for all of them. I don't think it's going to solve all the problems. Again, I think that whenever there's been a turnaround, it's been people who live there and people who have moved there, and it's been people, not programs, but people investing in the community. I agree. That's true. It's okay. just the way it's been.